hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another video so for today's video i just wanted to show you guys some of my favorite makeup products at the moment what i'm going to show you today is basically what i use every day for my makeup or what i reach for the most and it was actually a lot harder to choose my favorite products because i just i love using a lot of different things i know some people they have like their routine down and they don't like changing what they use i'm kind of the opposite of that i actually like trying new products i love like using different things seeing what works best for me and i don't know i'm just that type of makeup person that i love trying different things new things different techniques and all of that oh yeah that's what i'm going to be sharing with you guys today um i'm really interested to know if you guys have used any of the products that i'm going to be using today um, if you do use any of the products that I use, comment down below what you use that I use and just let me know what you think of it. Let me know if you tried any of the products that I love. I'm always really curious to see like how products that I use work on different people. So I just like knowing. So if you want, comment down below, let me know. There's no specific um, kind of product I'm using. It's not like new makeup, old makeup. I'm really just using like my favorites. Um, some of these products I've had a few weeks months some of these products i've had for more months a year almost and yeah i just fell in love with these products so um before i get started just do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button and also give this video a thumbs up um but yeah let's just go ahead and get started i'm also going to be showing you guys the products in the order of like how i do my makeup routine so i don't know if that's obvious or not but that's how i'm going to show you guys um so first up is primer Okay, so for primer, there was a few primers that I really enjoy using. I have like five different primers I really like. But for my top favorite, um, it is the Milk Hydra Grip Primer. I've been using this primer for over a year now. And this second product, this is my second favorite. And I only received this like a month ago or two. Um, but these two are my favorite favorite so far. So this Milk Hydra Grip Primer. I usually put this one on first and I'm almost out of this one. So I have to get a new one soon. I really like about this primer is how I think it's the tackiness of it to be honest. I really love how tacky this um, primer is. It makes it feel like my foundation really just like sticks on my skin and that's what I love about it. Um, but also it just I don't know it doesn't irritate my skin and i don't know i just see like such good results with it and that's why i've been loving the milk primer um the second primer i really enjoy is the touch and soul um this is the icy sherbet primer so this primer oh my god i fell in love with this primer because well like first of all look at it this primer is like i don't know how to describe it but like the actual texture of it it's very like kind of icy like so this does feel cool to the touch. It is very cold, but it's the actual formula. I don't know how to explain it. Honestly, it is very, it does look very icy and like, I don't know. So this primer says that it is a pore blurring primer. And trust me, I have tried millions of primers that say that they're pore blurring primers and I see no difference. Um, but with this one, I actually do see a huge difference in my pores. And let me just show you hopefully you guys can see uh, at least a little on camera like how it, it blurs my pores and my skin and this primer i do tend to like focus it more right here because this is where i have like my um pores around this area um yeah but when i put this on like i really do notice it blurring my skin blurring my pores and that's why i fell in love with this primer and i've been using this all the time now too so if you do want to get a blur pouring primer, I would definitely recommend this one. And also my foundation just sits very good on top of it. And yeah, I just love how it makes my skin feel as well. Like I said, it is actually like cool to the touch. So it does make your skin feel very cooling. I don't know if you guys can see, but yeah, it does blur a lot. So that's probably like my favorite thing about this primer. Okay, so second um, step is my eyebrows. So what I picked for my favorite eyebrow um, product, I've actually been using the She Glam, um, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's the brow pencil. Um, I use the shade gray black. I just think it's so funny that this is my favorite brow product now because I literally use this every day. Like this is my go-to like brow product. It does have the product on one end and a spoolie on the other end. Um, yeah, but I just think this is so funny because I actually hated this product when I first bought it. 
I did do a full face testing Shein makeup. I do have a video on that on my channel if you want to go watch that. Um, but that's when I first tried this um, brow pencil and I hated it, you guys. Like, it was super dry feeling. I don't know what it was, but I just didn't like this at all. But the more I kept using it, I realized it was kind of like warming up the product on the pencil and it was just so much easier to work with and actually really like the color and it's just so easy to use and it gives me such like a natural looking brow i feel like and i don't know like i just fell in love with this product um yeah this is pretty much all i use for my brows now and not to mention that these are super affordable you guys i think these are like two dollars or three dollars um, I'm not sure. I do buy like three at a time, so yeah, but I think they are around somewhere there, three, two or three dollars. Okay, so what I do next is I clean up the bottom of my brow and I prep my eye for my eyeshadow. And what I like using for this is the P. Louise Base. Um, I use the shade Rumor 02. This is what it ends up looking like. This is what I use every day to clean up my eyebrows and also for my eyeshadow base. I don't use anything else, like, ever. Um, this is just my favorite. It works so good. I love the formula. They do think that it just makes my eyeshadow pop, like, a thousand times more. Um, so yeah, I love this. I don't think I'll ever stop using this. I have a... I have tried other eyeshadow bases and I just don't like them so this has been my favorite for a few years now and yeah I think I'll just continue using this. Also whenever I need to cut my crease um, this is what I use as well. Okay so this next one was a hard one guys, um, eyeshadow. So I go through a lot of eyeshadow, I try a lot of eyeshadow palettes and there's just so many eyeshadow palettes that I love and that I love using um, but for right now my favorites um, is definitely Hank and Henry times Bianca Linares palette. It's this colorful eyeshadow palette. I do have a review on this palette if you want to go and watch it on my page. Um, such a bomb ass palette. And then the palette that I reach for when I'm doing more of like a soft look or like just going out look or like an everyday eyeshadow look, I really do love reaching for this palette right here. It's the Hip Dots. Um, this is the Zion palette. I just love this palette because the colors in it are so freaking gorgeous. I really use this shade a lot, as you can tell. These two are definitely the palettes I reach for a lot right now. Um, but for today's video, I think I'm going to go ahead and use this palette. For eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with this light purple shade, Barney. And I'm just going to place this all over my um, crease and my lid, just everywhere. I love the formula, but I love how the colors, they're still like very bright and bold. Um, this is just such a bomb palette, you guys. Next, I'm going to go in with Pink Punch, this hot pink right here. And I'm going to start putting this on my lid. I mean, look how these colors blend together. Like, the blend is just amazing. The formula is amazing. I love this palette. For my lower lash line, I'm going to go in with the shade Spooky, the darkest purple. And I'm just going to smoke it out. For my inner corner, I'm going to go in with that Hip Dot palette. And I'm going to use that shade that I love. It's, the, um, it's called the Virgin. I'm going to place it in my inner corner. I mean, look how pretty, you guys. Look how freaking pretty. Okay, so next, I just like to jump right into my foundation. Well, the makeup sponge that I have been loving, it's actually from the Beauty Bakery. And I received six of these in a boxy charm. It's like a, it was like a carton of like eggs but actually like these and i have been loving this so much like this is such a good sponge you guys i feel like it doesn't absorb too much product and it blends out the foundation very nicely without leaving like marks or anything um so yeah, i have been loving this sponge and then for my foundation oh my god you guys this foundation is probably the best foundation i have ever ever used in my life like no joke um it's also from shein the she glam um i don't even know what it's called 
um it's the ultra wear foundation and i don't think this was matte i don't believe it was at least i don't remember but you guys i'm so heartbroken because she in like took this down from their website like they don't sell it anymore and i was so heartbroken when i found out because i went to order another one and it wasn't there anymore and i was like freaking out and i was like oh my god like where is it i can't find it and they have this other foundation now i also bought that one but it's just not the same for me it's not a bad foundation like i still like it but this foundation i don't know what it is about it but it's like the best formula i have ever tried and i'm so sad that they don't sell it anymore um i got the shade um 02 beige i also used this in the review of my um shein full face of makeup um you know testing their makeup out and i instantly fell in love with the foundation and honestly like i have been like avoiding using this because like they don't sell it anymore so i don't want to like not have it anymore making me so sad to think about um so i have been using the other one that i bought but it's just it's not the same guys it's really not and i'm just really curious to see why like they took it off their website like why it's such a good foundation <laughs> like look at the coverage you guys and it's not just the coverage that i really like about this foundation but it's also the wear of it i wore this for hours and it looks beautiful on my skin still like after hours you know i would wear it when we would go like to clubs and i get home like three four in the morning and my skin like still looked beautiful and i do have really oily skin um but by the end of the day my my skin just kind of looked glowy but my foundation was still like looking pretty and i usually get a lot of compliments on my skin when i wear this foundation and i'm just so sad you guys like i'm so heartbroken i really wish i could talk to like the owner of shein um if the owner of shein sees this video then please bring it back because honestly it's like the best foundation i have ever tried this is such a natural looking foundation but still gives me coverage it still makes my skin look really pretty and uh, i'm just i'm ready to fight whoever decided to take this down <laughs> okay so next we have concealer Okay, so concealer, um, I use the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser Multi-Use Concealer. I use the shade 120 Light. Um, you guys may know this from like years ago. This was like popping. This was like the concealer to use. I remember when I started doing makeup, like every like makeup artist I would watch would use this concealer. Really like it. Um, I stopped using it for a while and then I just started trying different concealers out. And honestly, like... I just always come back to this because it like doesn't let me down you know it's like it's just it's good <laughs> um i don't really struggle with like um dark circles that bad and i really just use it to like you know the whole contour face thing um that's what i use it for and i really like it i like the formula um and it's super affordable as well um so yeah like this is a concealer i've been using for years and I mean, I might someday find a better concealer that I like, um, but for now, like, I don't know, concealer isn't really that important to me. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this one and it just, it does the job. Next step, I just go ahead and set my face right now. Um, so I do use the Airspun Loose Face Powder. Um, this is the Translucent Extra Coverage. Um, you know, it's the one that everyone and their mama uses. <laughs> um, um, but yeah, like it does its job as well. I mean, I feel like it does set my face really well. Um, like I said, my foundation usually does last me hours, especially when I use that Shein makeup um, foundation. And with this on top of it, yeah, like I feel like my foundation lasts me hours and hours and it still looks good. Um, I just go ahead and put some under my eyes. I don't really bake. Um, I never was really into baking. I really just put some under there and then go around my skin and then I just wipe it away the excess I know a lot of people say that this um, gives you flashback and like pictures um, I have personally never had you know an issue with that it's never happened to me personally like I have no bad experiences with this um, setting powder um, I do want to say one setting powder that I really, really fell in love with was the Laura Mercier um, setting powder. Um, but I ran out of that one and I didn't, I haven't bought a new one. Um, but I do remember me liking that one more than this one. And I have been using Airspun for years and years as well. And yeah, just it has never let me down. Like she's been there for me as well. 
and also i don't cream contour i just always use a powdered bronzer um so that's how i contour my face um i don't know why i don't like cream contour i just it's not that i don't like it i just never do it <laughs> i just find this way easier um so what i do use every day pretty much is the ace beauty um bronze in paradise palette so this is a bronzing palette and this is what i use um i usually go in with these two shades right here i just go back and forth with between those two shades and i just contour my face with this and bronze up like you see how easy that is to blend out i just really love the formula of this as well it's so easy to blend out and it gives such a natural like contour um yeah i just really love this palette and honestly like i've been using this whenever i do my makeup i use this and you know that's a lot throughout the year and it's been lasting me a lot like i haven't even made a dent or anything so i really like how much use i can get out of this as well i do like to get a bit of the lightest shade and i kind of just go around my chin right here on the sides and then also with the lightest shade i do go around my nose i don't really contour my nose that crazy because i don't know why <laughs> i just like to bronze it up a little on the sides just like that and then i do the tip a little and that's really all i do for my nose i mean i know when you contour you kind of want to make it look like tinier i don't really care about that i don't think i have like a fat nose so I mean, I really just like to bronze it up so it's not all white. Um, my forehead, on the other hand, I do try to make it look a bit smaller because I have a five head and I hate it. Um, so I just kind of go around my temple right here and then I do the top. Kind of leaving this part highlighted just to give the illusion of a smaller forehead. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I do for contour, you guys. Um, so yeah, I love, love, love this palette. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with blush, and I love blush. I love trying blushes. I have a lot of top favorite blushes, um, but for today's video, I wanted to do this one. It's the Han um, All Natural Multi Stick. Um, I did get this barely like a few weeks ago, almost a month ago, um, but I am in love with this. <laughs> like you definitely, if you love blush, you need this because, oh my god, I'm in, so in love with it. So this is the color. It's like a dusty rose color and it does have a, a little bit of like gold reflex in it. Um, but what I do is I go ahead and grab my blush brush, pick up some product, looks like that. And then I kind of just run it along my cheek, wherever you want to place your blush. And like, oh my God, like this blush, you guys will give you such a natural looking blush. Like it's insane how beautiful it is. It does give a little bit of a glow and I really like that and also the color itself like the like dark pink I really really like so yeah I have been using this every day pretty much since I got it and like I'm in love with it like I definitely definitely will be keep buying this blush probably I'm just in love with the natural looking blush it gives like it's so pretty tip of the nose um, yeah, this is like my top favorite blushes I have ever tried. I'm so freaking obsessed with it. Like, look at it. Look at it. Just... Okay, guys, I went ahead and put some eyeliner. I had to improvise because I'm out of my favorite eyeliner, which is the NYX Matte Liquid Black Liner. I don't have it with me. I ran out, but that is my favorite, like, all-time favorite eyeliner. Um, it's perfectly black and matte and i love it and it's only like eight dollars i believe too but right now i just used a morphe black eyeliner i mean this one works pretty good as well but yeah the nyx is my number one choice um and next i'm gonna apply my lashes and these have been my favorite lashes i've been using these so much lately um it's the brand i'm not sure if this is how you pronounce it but it's spelled l-u-o-c-i lashes so i believe it's lucy lashes um i did lose a little thing where they come on but they're in there these are the style l0003 
and i do have a discount code with them if you want to go ahead and use it to save money off if you want to try their lashes my code is glow and it will save you some money off on your entire purchase um so go ahead and check them out um these lashes are so freaking bomb let me show you and also i will be using my favorite lash glue ever it's the kiss lash glue it's the white to bottle one this glue is my favorite it makes my lashes stay on all day um i have no problems with it definitely works like a charm i just apply it on my lash let it get tacky and put it on and yeah like no issues whatsoever um this works amazing and it's only like three dollars i believe around there okay guys so here are the lashes on i love these lashes so much i really like them because they're kind of like spread out um so you can see the eyeshadow look in the back but they're not like too spread out where it's like kind of weird like a few hairs um yeah i love these lashes so much i have had these for a while they are a little used and abused um but they're super cute i love them um and again if you want to um, check out this brand lucy lashes um i do have a code you can use it's glow with it and that will save you money on your purchase and also these lashes i believe they're really affordable i think they're like ten dollars around there somewhere if i'm not mistaken um but yeah go ahead and check them out sometimes i wear a blush where there's already like a kind of like a shimmer in it so i don't really use highlighter but when i do um i usually reach for the fenty beauty um this is a dual highlighter um i like using the shade this one right here mo honey um this is such a pretty highlighter you guys so i just dip in this side right here and Like, look how pretty that is. It gives such a natural glow to the skin, and it's so freaking pretty. Love how it glides on, and it just looks like a wet kind of highlight. I love it so much. It's so cute. And I use very little, and it's blinding. Um, so yeah, I really, really like this highlighter. I don't know if it's because we're in spring, and you know, summer's coming up, and I just like the glowy look. Um, but yeah, I've been feeling highlighters again and this one has definitely been my favorite lately so last two products for the video i picked something that i've been using a lot a lot i have been using this combination it's the dominique cosmetics um lip liner this is the shade crush and it's the fill and define lip liner so it does have this kind of shape right here so this is actually meant to line your lips but also fill it in i really like like the formula of it and the color is so pretty it's like such a perfect nude shade okay so this is what the lip liner looks like and then what I like to put on top, it's um, this lip gloss from Persona Cosmetics. Um, it's the shade Honey. And you guys, this gloss has been like my best friend. Honestly, I love this gloss so much. It's like a nude with a hint of gold in it. And it's just so bomb, you guys. Watch. And especially on top of this lip liner, like the combination is gorgeous. like do you see how good this makes my lips look like um yeah it's super gorgeous i love this combination so much um but yeah guys that's it for the video what do you guys think so this is the final look what do you guys think um let me know what you guys think of the products that i am like in love with um what do you guys think of them do you own any of them do you use any of them are any of my favorites also your favorites let me know so we can be best friends <laughs> Um, but yeah, seriously, let me know. Um, I'm so curious to know if people use the products that I love and love them as well. Um, yeah, but that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and also give this video a thumbs up if you liked my look, if you liked any of the products that I used. Um, but yeah, thanks again so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.